Hello everyone and welcome to today's workshop. My name is Grace Weaver and I'm a student worker here at the Wichita Falls Museum of Art at MSU Texas. Today we will be creating collage silhouettes. For this project you will need glue. You can use a glue stick or if you don't have a glue stick you are more than welcome to use liquid glue. A pencil, scissors, and magazines as well as a piece of cardstock. Now, the first thing you want to do on your cardstock is flip it over and draw your silhouette on the back. Now, if you don't feel confident in your drawing, you can print out whatever shape silhouette that you want and tape it to a sunny window. And then you would tape your piece of cardstock over it and trace it. So the sun would allow your silhouette to come through and you would be able to trace the outline of your silhouette. Now once you have your silhouette design chosen and drawn, you want to flip it over and start on the back side. So from here, you want to cut paper into strips. You can cut it into various sizes. Today we're using magazine strips. You can use newspaper. You can use images you've printed out. You can use just about any paper, really. But what you want to do is you want to take your glue and just... You can cover a little bit of your paper for more than one strip, but I don't recommend doing the whole page because the glue will run out and dry out, dry up before you're able to stick everything down. So I'm just, I've already cut some strips and chosen which ones I want to use. So I'm uh, just sticking those down into place. Then once you have all your strips stuck down all across the page, it's okay if there's white space, your paper should look something like this. Now, from here, you want to flip your paper back over. Remember, you drew your silhouette on the other side. So from here, you can take your scissors and cut out your silhouette. Today, I chose to make a bear. So once you cut out your silhouette, it should look something like this and you can glue it down to more cardstock or cardboard and cut the cardboard out to give it a little bit more strength. This one's still a little bit malleable but I think it'll look great um, just stuck on my tack board in my apartment. So you can really do anything you want with this project. You can use any sort of silhouette. I chose to do a bit of a gradient across this, but you can choose to use colors that are in the piece you're making. So like, you know, I've got brown here, could be a brown bear, and I could have, you know, chosen all of these to be brown as well. Or you can <clears throat> just do crazy colors, you can do some sort of color scheme. The idea is really up to you and what you want to create. I hope you had fun and creating this, and I hope you come back next week to see our next video. Thank you!